Hello world and welcome back to another video. How do you start programming if you never coded before? You were watching a TV show and there was a coder on it and you're like, hmm, I wonder what they do. Maybe you want to make a switch in your careers. You know, maybe you're about to go into college, whatever it may be. This would be my advice on how to get into programming. So the very first thing I would do is I would try like an hour of code. So what an hour of code is, is a website where they have different challenges and activities that you can do to get your feet wet. And specifically, the hour of code activities that I really like are the Google ones. So Google has a whole bunch of introductory courses that you can take. And even though it says take an hour, I would say like really dive deep into them. And why I really like Google's programs is that they don't just say, okay, like, this is how you do a print statement. They actually introduce like what is code, what is programming, what are we doing? And I just really love that because I felt like I didn't really understand what is code before I started going into like the syntax. And you can see that they have different types of videos on the website as well. So for example, you'll see some are introductory and then some are intermediate and advanced. So I'd say after you took your introductory course, let's say it took, takes you a week, I would say after that, try the intermediate ones, try the advanced ones. And they had some really cool ones. I was like, okay, Google, I see you. Like they had a fashion one, a game design course, and just really stuff that are like interesting. And you can maybe start like to find out or start to fill out, oh, maybe I really like the game design or maybe I really like the websites. The advice that you would get on a lot of these different channels, if you say like, how do I start programming? Is they'll say, now pick a project and start doing it. However, I feel like that advice can kind of be hard if you don't really know what you're into. So if you do know what you're into, like let's say you're into maybe, you know you wanna make games. I would say go to Google and look up, okay, what language to learn if I want to make games? Or like, let's say you're really into websites. Same thing, go to Google. What language should I learn if I wanna make websites? And this is where you do like the research phase. So like take your time with this and start looking like, okay, like with the websites, let's say some people are saying HTML, CSS, JavaScript, other people are saying other stuff. I would see like what is the most popular thing like people are saying. And then also like if you can ask around, that's great. And then after that, once you figure that out, I would say go to Code Academy and I'll put the website somewhere on the screen and I would say after that start learning how to write in that language so for example different languages have different syntax and basically what syntax is is like a way you write your code that the computer understands so for example in one language the syntax can be completely simple but in another one it can be more convoluted so like in one language, it might take one line of code to write something. However, in a different language, it can take like 10 lines of code. And if you don't know what language to do, because maybe you don't know if you want to do websites or do back end or front end or whatever, I would say learn Python. And I choose Python just because I've been doing research and you can get a lot of jobs with Python. The syntax is compared to a lot of different languages, very easy to follow. And then the power of Python, like you can do anything from websites to building applications, backend, data, and it's just really awesome. So I'd say do that language. And what you do is just go to Code Academy, look up a Python course, start with a free one, and just start learning like, okay, this is how I tell the computer to do different things. This is how like the language works. And then after that, so after you've done your hour of code, and then after you've done some basic Code Academy type course, maybe even hacker rank, I would say now it's time to start building a project. And even that, I would like kind of do a project where maybe it's part of a course. However, for example, if I was into games, I saw that there's this one um, programmer who made how to create a game in Python and had step-by-step -step instructions. So I'll do something that's more, you know, more like a classroom, less like free will. And yeah, I would say that's how I would like get into programming. And that's how my advice for starting to program. However, many different people have many different advice. However, what I found out is sometimes people forget 
you know, like how hard it is, like the learning curve of programming, like in the very beginning, just because everything is new. So I would say just like stick with it. And there will be problems along the way. However, okay, this is all a different video of how to like keep at programming. Any questions with the hour of code, Google's hour of code, or like any of the Code Academy courses, let's say you get a bug, you know, just come back to this video, post it here. Um, I'm creating an Instagram so people can also ask me questions there. And like, I got you, I wanna help solve your problems, especially since our community is small too. So like now is the time, you know, I can really like engage with everyone that has questions. So yeah, I hope you like this video. I hope you're gonna get into programming. If you're still unsure, I would say, um, I have like different videos on why I love coding, a day in my life. So like make sure you check out those videos as well. So you know, maybe that can encourage you to get started. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day.